Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We are going to keep going on material properties, and today we are going to discuss hot finished and cold finished steels. So when we form steels, we could form shape or roll the steel either in the hot right condition or just in the room temperature. And hot finishing means you work the material while the material in the hot right condition and usually above austenite temperature, which is above 1500 degree F or 820 degree C. That's called hot finishing. However, if you form the material in the room temperature, we call it as cold finishing. So the difference in between is for hot finishing, the grain size of steel does not change because recrystallization keeps happening in the hot right condition. However, if we form the material in the room temperature, the grain size will change. And technically, the grain size will be reduced. So we are going to take a look at hot finishing first. So like we said, for hot finishing, the material will be worked or will be formed or rolled in the hot red condition in order to form to other smaller ships like blooms or bellets. And during the hot finishing process, because the temperature is above austenitic temperature, so the grain size will dynamically change or recrystallize. And the strength or the hardness of the material will not change. As the result, for hot finished steel, the material is soft and the mechanical properties, which means the strength and the hardness, remain low. In a sense, hot finishing takes place in the right hot condition, so there will be black scales on the surface of the hot finished material. However, we do have hot finished steel available that is free from scale or discoloration. So like we just mentioned, so hot finishing means we ship the material in the hot right condition, and usually above the crystallization temperature means austenite temperature. And it's usually above 1500 degree F or 815 degree C. And intuitively, it's easier to deform steel in the red hot condition other than at room temperature. So typical structure shapes such as I-beams, channels, angles, wide flange beams, and other heavy plates, they are almost produced by hot rolling processes. And any steel alloy can be hot finished, but most likely the carbon percentage is less than 0.25%. And like we said, hot finished material usually have lower strength because recrystallization is constantly happening. And the grain deformation does not occur because when grains are deformed, and those grains will immediately recrystallize and return to their undistorted ship. All right, the pros and the cons of hot finishing. So the biggest disadvantage of hot finishing is the poor surface finishing because of the scales on the surface, and consequently, the lower dimensional control. And because of those oxide scale, it's difficult for hot finished material to achieve accurate dimensional control. And some advantages of hot finished material is they are usually low cost and a better weldability and has more stability in machining. While doing machining with hot finished material, because of the lower 
residual stresses in hot finished material, hot finished products, they are more preferred over cold finished material, where the process requires stability during and after machining operations. And the typical carbon steel for machining process is SAE 1020, 1025, and 1030. So the carbon percentage, they are all lower. All right, this is hot finished steel. Now let's look at cold finished steels. So cold finishing process means we work the material in the room temperature. So cold finished products don't receive the reductions greater than 10%. So typically for cold finished material, the strength can be improved a lot by cross-sectional area reduction, such as when we do cold rolling, usually the cross-sectional area reduction is less than 10% overall. However, the tensile strength can be improved as much as 20%, and the yield strength may be increased as much as 50%. And all steels can be cold finished, but it's not common to severely cold work high carbon or alloy steels, because for high carbon or alloy steels, the strengthening effect is usually not significant. So cold finished steels can be much stronger, which means the strength can be improved by cold working. And also cold finished material usually have a better surface finish. And since the strength of the cold finished material is usually twice the hot worked material, so the width of the material can be reduced half, but still have the same strength, but this does not always true because of the stiffness and the section modulus considerations. And because of those weight reduction from cold finished steels, a lot of automobiles use cold finished material. So the use of hot versus cold finished steel is going to be the designer's consideration. So the plus of cold finished steels is cold finished steels usually have closer size tolerances and a better surface finish and also better mechanical properties. And the picture shows the surface finish of hot worked on the left and the cold worked 1020 steel. Apparently, cold finished steel has a lot of better surface finish Consequently, closer size tolerance, and the material is much stronger and harder, meaning better mechanical properties. And the cons for cold finished steels are cold finished material usually have lower ductility because of the higher strength and higher hardness. And also because of the grain size reduction so while doing uh, machining operations, cold finished steels tend to have higher instability because of the higher temperature while in machining, the grain size tends to back to the regular size. And also cold finished steel usually have higher price. Besides machining, while doing welding, it's the same reason because of a uh, local heat. So welding may cause local annealing. So because of those temperature increase, the strength of the cold worked material may reduce. It's like an annealing process. While the temperature increases, the strength of the material decreases. While machining cold finished products may unbalance the cold working stresses, yet the part might have distortion. And as a summary of cold finishing and hot finishing, so cold finishing can cause significant strengthening, means the strength of the material can be improved. So cold finished products should be used when we need to take advantage of the higher strength and the closer 
dimensional tolerances. And also code finished products usually have better machinability than hard finished products because the higher hardness in code finished products can prevent the gummy machining behavior like in hard finished steels. While hard finished materials are preferred when freedom from residual stress is desired or where welding is contemplated. All right, this is what we have for cold finishing and hot finishing steel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.